What is good, y'all? Dylan Gu is back with a new episode for Progenitor, episode four, titled Visiting Neo Inazuma. And this is a Genshin Impact X Dylan Gu series. Now, last time we left off, there was pretty much, you know, the good guys trying to get Albedo out of the city that he was in. You know, they was looking for him. And they were having an air battle. Both sides took kind of heavy losses, a little too. I don't think anyone truly died, but everybody was getting messed up. And so now we got to figure out where we pick it up from. Now, if y'all enjoy this, hit Delangu with the goodness. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit them with it. And if y'all enjoy my reaction, please do the same for your boy. Let's get to it. All right, let's get it. I think we left off here. Who is that? L1 created the first synthetic humans at Sandicorp. He's the one who started this war. That L1? I thought he was dead. Zandique kept trying to recreate him. Most believed he failed. L13? But after you revived that little girl yesterday, I realized who you really are. Th that's not me! I ran away from Xandicorp! Have you ever wondered why you felt compelled to run? <sighs> mm. <laughs> You're not going to mention how we met, Mona. Zandik and L1 claimed countless lives. I came here to warn Raiden. L1 must be destroyed. I don't like it when you ignore me. Oh, so he still got power here. Ooh. He's standing right through it. He is unfazed, man. I'll be feeling that. Let's run that. Did he flip her and then smack her down too? That's a nasty combo. Mm. Tell me, Mona, why must I be destroyed? Is it because I'm truly dangerous? Or is it simply because you have the power to? And I would like to know the answer. Gave you that power? He is literally pressing her in more ways than one. <coughs> All right, you might have to box yourself you know, right quick. I'm really glad you came today. Mona. <laughs> what you gonna do? Enjoy the view. You just let him get away? I know this is very traumatic for you, but sometimes you gotta push past that. Okay, see, they are still getting away. Okay. L13. Don't move. We don't oh, know the other they were in his mind. I forgot. Did to you. Right in. I, I didn't look at her. And yet you two were the only ones unconscious. Uh, I think I just hit my head really hard. This is the, e this is the evil one talking. Don't nobody know. <laughs> You're not the only one with mild head trauma. And they about to bring him to their base. Well, I'm glad you're awake. Mona! Mona, wake up! 
please. You have to stop him. L13 still working in this condition. <laughs> it's not going to be able to fly on its own, but I can use it to feed the coordinates to O2 in real time. Right, the coordinates. Ah, movement. <laughs> not that we need them anymore. I don't know why, but like based on the previous episodes, I was expecting something, you know, broke down, kind of ratty, kind of slums, but nah, this city is fire. <laughs> what do you have on? Uh, 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 Raiden, Nomad. <laughs> I see you've returned from your mission. <laughs> so, um, what did you do with the other half of my babies? <laughs> Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances... They're at the bottom of the ocean. Yes. What? I see you're the new guy. <laughs> this is somehow your fault. It Call absolutely it. is. See to it that RSO3 is taken to the infirmary. I'll be escorting our rogue priestess to my office for interrogation. Right, of uh, course. This isn't over. What? Welcome home, Shogun. Hello, Miko. I see you're on your break, as always. She's like a fox, bro. <laughs> Every great Maybe a dr requires dragon? a moment of silence before the next chapter unfolds. I really hope you have a good explanation for all this. Things will become clear soon. They don't know how much danger they're in being in this elevator. I don't know how strong he really is right now, but just because we know he's the bad guy, bro, I don't feel like they should really not be in the elevator, bro. I promise. Miko, what are you doing here? I had a feeling I might be needed here. Okay. So, here I am. Although I couldn't help but notice. <sighs> Albedo here didn't seem to recognize the extra bodies he made for me last time. Actually, I do recognize them. And it seems like you've put them to good use. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that was a lie that she gave him. No, and he took the bait, and now she knows that that's not really him. You know what I mean? Like, she seems intelligent. She seems like she playing chess right now. And he thinks she playing checkers. And like, yes, with the bodies they have stationed. Really, she playing show Control the city in an instant. I can't thank you enough. And the body you have stored in my office was specifically for security purposes only. Oh, is that why you requested Maybe not. It? <laughs> but you see, I do take security very seriously. So I'll be scanning your friends for any sign of espionage. <laughs> I would scan everybody. Come on, ma'am. Please, 
hey. Uh, uh, Mona, right? <sighs> I saw you bury this thing earlier, so I fixed it. Is this eyes closed uh, or here you was they supposed to be like hidden behind the, the shadow? You go. Uh, I, uh, you. I, I'm L1. You can call me Albedo. Thank you, Albedo. <laughs> Dang. She pulled up quick on him too. Nico, what are you thinking? He's an ally. That's not L13. Okay. See, I, I knew she knew, bro. I knew she and knew. She is right. You see, L13 never made me extra bodies. What I say? What did I say, bro? I knew she was playing him the whole time, bro. She was playing Shogi. He thought she was playing chess. Yeah, he was playing checkers, bro. I, I didn't say ballpark. What? The person you've been talking to was L1. He's been locked away in L13's mind until now. And he's the Xandacorp spy. <laughs> We have to destroy him before he reports back to Zandikor. He's already seen too much. Her ability is like a fox, too. Where's L13? With a smile. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's just say, destroying me will destroy L13. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, yeah. Or you can surrender. We have you outnumbered. <laughs> do you really think so little of me, Mona? Ah, <sighs> fine. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, he copied it. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on. Can we look at Minato here in the situation? My boy is up there with the Rasengan in hand, off rip, bro. He ain't asked no questions. He ain't said nothing. He just up there ready with it, bro. I rock with you. You a little crash out, ain't you? <laughs> she like, she praying. She ready to box. She ready to box. She ready to box. He already in the motion of boxing. Honestly, yo, Dylan Gu. Next episode. I want him to be the first one to throw some, even if he misses. He, you can't draw him like this. Either she got to be and he's second, or he first and she's second. But you got to, he got he got it ready, bro. And honestly, I want him to connect. I don't even know Buddy too well, bro. I don't know a lot of these characters well. She just pulled up. Uh, I rock with, I think, Raiden, Raiden. Uh, I'm rocking with you a little bit. You a cat lover. Your cat look like my cat. Uh, you was the op, but at the same time, in reality, you knew what was going on. So, you, L L one, I ain't rocking with you. L thirteen, you gotta show me something. I'm sorry, bro. You ain't been doing enough. You've been like, I mean, like you'll interact, you'll kind of fight, but you ain't really, you ain't showing me that dog yet, bro. Show me the dog you got in you, or they supposedly. Guy, she she cool right now. Like she only made a good entrance for herself. I I caught her play immediately. The fact that you couldn't speaks volumes, bro. She ain't even. She sounded like she was playing you, and you let you fell right for it.
Albedo, you got to get out the water, bro. You in a water prism, Juicy. Come on now. I'm about to say, is this some more? Look, I ain't gonna lie. I. This is this. Interesting. What is. All right, all right. Let me, let me, let me focus. What I was about to say is, Dylan Gu is doing exactly what Genshin Impact wants him to do. And that is attract people to his series. Because. The more and more I hear about this world and hear about what's going on, the more and more confused I am. And that's because I have not actually did any research into Genshin Impact. And if this, you know, pertains very heavily to the main story of Genshin Impact, I need to go check that story out. You feel me? Because, like I said, I don't know what's going on, bro. But, like, it looks interesting. Dylan Gu's animations are always fire. Do I have to play the game? Like, I guess I, I might have to play the game to get the whole story. Or, I mean, I could probably pull up some YouTube videos. But all in all, I'm interested in Genshin, Genshin Impact because of this series. I'll say that much. So, Dylan Gu, you're doing your job. Now, if y'all enjoyed this, go to their channel, bro. It will be linked in the description as always. Hit them with the goodness. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit them with it. And if y'all enjoyed my reaction, please do the same for your boy. This has been your boy, Reggie Wolf. I am signing out. Peace.